Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Rama, and in today's video, I'll be selling my entire filled hangar in a public lobby. Now, this lobby's got 21 people in it currently, which is the max high demand bonus. But I guess we're going to have to find out if that many people are in the lobby by the time we finish, or hopefully finish, today's sale mission. Now, the reason I'm making a video on our air freight cargo sale mission is because of the fact that Rockstar has now added a new sail mission type. Previously, there was only air, which makes sense because this is an air freight cargo business. But Rockstar has now added the ability to do these missions, not only sourcing, but as well selling when it comes to selling on land. So we can have the option of air or land. We're going to be seeing just exactly what these land missions entail. I'm not exactly sure what all of them are going to be like, but we're going to be finding out what this one's like. So let's see what we have to do. We got 20 minutes minutes to do all of four vehicles. I see a truck. Okay. Well, I'm guessing we're going to need this truck, so we have to collect the cargo. All right. Well, this one might actually be pretty easy. Let me know in the comments if there are vehicles that require more than one sail mission, but for now, looks like all we have to do is use this truck, pick up this cargo, and uh, this will actually be a pretty easy sail mission. Well, if 22 people stay in the lobby, I'm going to be one happy camper. So let's reverse this phantom. Now, I should also point out that you most likely can use a phantom wedge for this. So if we were to go to vehicles and scroll through and find the phantom wedge, you could probably do this as well. The only reason I'm not going to is because my Deluxo is parked right outside of my hangar. So there's really no point. So it looks like we have to drive four miles to the drop-off, which is pretty easy. Because we're going to go to CEO abilities and do ghost org. Okay, well, as of right now, this is a very, very easy sail mission. I was really expecting there to be something with three or four vehicles that we'd have to do the sail mission with, and I'm highly expecting that there are a lot of sail missions that do involve that, but what is that? I got a cargo counter? Does that mean if I crash the vehicle? The cargo inside the trailer is fragile. Avoid taking too much damage while delivering it to the drop-off. What does that mean? Oh my god, I just... Ah, you're telling me that... Uh, okay, never mind. This sail mission sucks. I lied. Oh, what did I hit? What did I hit? What What did I hit? Uh, okay. Well, this is going to be a disaster. Are you telling me that that little bit of damage on the cargo is actually a decrease in our total payout? That cannot be real, right? There's no way that Rockstar is doing this to me. Well then, never mind. This sail mission is pretty dang lame. Essentially, uh... Oh, don't... Okay, we're good. We're good. That wasn't a, uh, it wasn't a hard hit or anything like that. Let's make our way through here, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not all too happy with the sail mission anymore. That means if there was anybody that tried blowing you up, this thing could get absolutely annihilated. Wow. Okay, well, there's not much I can do about that. I guess we'll find out if I lose money from any damage on the cargo or it has to be entirely blown up. We have a minute and 40 seconds on Ghost Org, and, well, that should be fine because we only have to drive about 2.8 miles, which means we should really barely have to worry about Ghost Org even running off by the time we get there. But it definitely will be probably about a solid minute without Ghost Org on. Oh, don't crash, don't crash. We're good. We got a minute, 20 seconds left, and 2.5 miles to go. Thankfully, it's a very beautiful day in Los Santos, and uh, we shouldn't have to worry all too much. Now, we do have to drive past two people here. Looks like somebody's in a Hydra, or maybe that's the Raiju. That appears to be the new Raiju. Thankfully, we got a minute off radar, so they shouldn't see us. And we also have a person right in front of us at the 24-7. Nice, Turismo. You don't see me. Oh, crap. You didn't see that. You, you, you didn't see that. I didn't just murder a family of four. Okay, we're all good. All right. There are still... Oh, there's actually a lot of people in the lobby. 28. Okay, does every car have to turn in front of me? Like, come on, man. It looks like our cargo hasn't taken any more damage, but I seriously... I don't even know why that car turned in front of me. I was on my lane of traffic, and that car literally went into my lane. Like, what the absolute hell? All right. Well, let's keep on going. You'd think if you saw a massive semi-truck on the road, you wouldn't drive towards it. You drive away! But what do I know about not dying in a traffic crash? Alright, keep on going, keep on going. We're at 14 seconds left on Ghost Org. Nobody's near us right now, which is actually quite nice, so... 
Let's just keep on going. 1.1 miles left, and that's about it. So, probably about another 60 seconds of driving, and we should be able to make our way over there. This is actually not too bad of a sail mission, though. I would much rather have a sail mission like this over, you know, three or four vehicles. Which, as I said, I'm pretty confident there are some like that. Just, we got pretty lucky, I'm guessing. So, let's make our way through here. Try not to crash. Ooh, do you notice those weird textures on the top of the trailer bugging out? What the heck is that? Oh well, let's keep on going. I kind of wish I picked the Phantom Wedge now. And for future advice, if you do get the sail mission, it's probably going to be a lot more beneficial to use the Phantom Wedge rather than this truck, just because of the fact that you can easily push cars out of the way. However, I'm not sure if that actually counts for damage. Either way, it doesn't look like there's anybody near us on the map. Ooh, we actually got to park right next to the gun van. Maybe before we end off the video, we'll see what's in the gun van, because uh, it's always nice to see if they've got mollies, as those are a pretty hard weapon to find. All right, well, we just got to roll around this corner here. Of course, there's a car in my way. Guess we'll go this way. Here we go. Nice. All right. Oh, I can see the damage the trailer took when we smashed into that. Well, that's a bit of a shame, but looks like it's completely fine. We've made our way over to our destination. Nobody's near us, and there's 27 people in the lobby. It was a $1.5 million payout, so that means... Oh, did we do it? Did... Oh, detach the trailer. Okay. Um... I'm, it's not letting me detach the trailer. There you go. Okay. I don't know why we couldn't just leave the truck there, but let's get out our personal vehicle really quickly. Request personal vehicle, and um, yeah, I guess we'll take a look at the gun van after we after we get our personal. Oh, why did it spawn over there? Services, Kosatka Sparrow. I find it funny how calling in a sparrow is a heck of a lot closer and faster than literally running over to my Deluxo due to the spawn location. Great job, Rockstar! Clearly, this makes sense. Alright, well, it should be pretty easy to leave the area with our sparrow. And, uh, that should be it. Let's just keep on flying away. So, $1.5 million payout, so we should make, oh yeah, look at that, $2.2 million. That's a lot of money, actually. That's a lot of money. I mean, to be fair, this was a whole week of filling it up, and, uh, we didn't really get a crazy payout because of the fact that I've just been using Rooster Macraw to fill it up, but, uh, still actually not too bad at all. I will definitely take a nice beefy payout like that. So let's make our way over to the gun van. There it is. And let's see what we've got really quickly available. But what do I have to say about land versus air freight cargo? Well, I would definitely say just to do the land sail missions over the air. Even if there are three or four vehicles, I would say the major reason is because A, it's better than having three or four planes. That's just a fact. But not only that, I don't have a pipe wrench. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to buy that. Apparently, I also don't have a military rifle. I don't own a lot of these, apparently. Well, I'm just going to equip all these while I'm talking. But with my suggestion, I would say that it's a lot safer to do the land missions just because of the fact you're unfortunately not able to use your own personal planes in the sail missions. So I still think it's easier to do the land missions. But let me know in the comments down below what you think, if you agree or disagree with me in the comments. Either way, uh, apparently I don't have the machine pistol on this account either. <laughs> oh, well. Oh well, hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and uh, yeah, actually a pretty easy sail mission. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!